The Chargers just got a huge hire. Jim Harbaugh was able to get Ben Herbert from Michigan, who was the strength and conditioning coach since 2018. And then this past season, Jim Harbaugh made him the associate head coach as well. Now, Ben Herbert, you a lot of you guys probably don't know who this is, but he was a huge factor in that winning culture at Michigan. And it was reported that part of the reason the deal for Jim Harbaugh to the Chargers took longer than expected was because Jim Harbaugh was adamant about bringing Jesse Minter and Ben Herbert no matter what. Now, the Chargers fans are going to love both of these guys. And I already talked about Jesse Minter in my last video, so you can go check that out if you haven't already. But today, we are going to focus on Ben Herbert and some more information about the general manager spot. So make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content, bro. It helps me out so much. And now let's talk about Ben Herbert and what he brings to the Chargers because the impact that he is going to have is as big as it gets, man. I'm so excited about this hire. The Chargers have struggled with injuries every single season since I have been alive. And just this past season, they decided to hire a new strength and conditioning coach. I mean, do you guys even remember that? We always, or we all thought it was this huge deal and we're not gonna have all these injuries anymore. But obviously that really wasn't the case because I mean, they had so many injuries this past year. Like Joey Bosa still got injured. Mike Williams, Corey Lindsley, Austin Eckler, Keenan Allen, and Justin Herbert was injured basically all season. Rashawn Slater too, he was injured just about all year. And I understand that just some of those injuries are bad luck, right? And sometimes you can't prevent those injuries. And it's just a, a Chargers thing. We're always going to have injuries. It's like every team has injuries, right? But sometimes injuries are preventable based on what you are doing in the weight room. And if you have a good strength and conditioning staff that doesn't put the body under a lot of stress, but still challenges you to get bigger, faster, and stronger, then you're going to have less injuries. And I hope that's what Ben Herbert brings. But what Ben Herbert definitely brings for sure is a culture and he has coached 95 nfl draft picks including 12 first rounders and he caught the attention of draft analysts because he consistently coaches players that end up on bruce feldman's freak list and lance zerloin predicts that roman wilson the wide receiver at michigan is going to be on that freak list this year and watch out for him in the later rounds in the maybe third or fourth round the Chargers might draft him if they don't go for a receiver like malik neighbors at number five just keep an eye on that. Now, Jim Harbaugh thinks so highly of Ben Herbert that he tried to nominate him for the Broyles Award, which is given to the nation's top assistant coach of the year. He said, to me, Ben Herbert is the X factor in our entire football program. The level of conditioning, the level of strength, the lesson of mental toughness, that's a big one, that's been the center of it. And Sharon Moore, Michigan's new head coach and former offensive coordinator for Jim Harbaugh, he tried to keep Ben Herbert as much as he possibly could because of the culture that he set with Michigan. And he said he is untouchable. The things that he has done for the program, the things he's done for the line of scrimmage on both sides for us, he is the best strength coach in the country. It is not close. So... It is clear that Ben Herbert is a culture setter, a tone setter, and he will make the Chargers a tougher and more physical football team, just like Jim Harbaugh wants. Bro, I cannot believe that I'm saying this stuff about the Chargers. It feels like I've never seen the Chargers be a football team like this and this next season is going to be so exciting they're going to look so so different and in the past few years specifically the chargers have kind of gotten soft as an nfl football team because of coaches like brandon staley trying to finesse his way and outsmart other teams rather than just lining up against the guy across from you and just physically dominating him every single play and now, with Ben Herbert and Jim Harbaugh, the Chargers are going to be a mentally tough and physically dominant football team. I mean, just listen to Ben Herbert in the weight room at Michigan and what these guys had to say about him. Listen! When it's time to compete, you're ready to compete. No matter what the challenge, doesn't matter what time of day, what the weather's like, how long it's going to take. Whatever we got to do, that's what we got to do. We roll. Deep. We roll. Deep. We roll. Deep. We roll. Deep. Blue on me. Blue on three. Yeah. One, two, three. Blue. Two point. 
Right knee down, left knee down, on the chest. My name is Ben Herbert, and I am the Director of Strength and Conditioning for football at the University of Michigan. Lay it back, we'll start out right side. Our mission as a strength and conditioning staff is to take the young men that we work with from where they are to where they are capable of being mentally and physically through training on a daily basis. Coach Herb, he's involved with everybody, regardless if you're high on the depth chart or you're the lowest guy. He's always going to give you the absolute best work to make you a better player and even a better man. Probably one word I'd describe him as is consistent. He's so consistent, he'll get us right every time. You know you're gonna get work every day. My goal for our team is to make sure there is a level of preparation in place to beat Michigan State, beat Ohio State, win the Big Ten Championship, and win a national championship. Plain and simple. Everything that we do is driven by those four goals. Yeah, my job is incredibly fun. Now, compare what I just showed you to some of the footage that we saw of All In with the Chargers coaching staff, and you tell me how Ben Herbert is gonna change the Chargers culture. Thumbs up, guys, yesterday on the walkthrough, like it? Yeah, hell yeah, it was, uh, it was awesome, right? You just, you know when it's right when it looks that way. So, um, really good job with that. I thought the pace was good. We got right into practice, and it was sharp. So we'll keep that thing moving. I read a book about 10 years ago called Measure What Matters by John Doerr. Right, so I thought about that book this morning for this blueprint meeting because I'm like, okay, what really matters going into this week? What really matters? What really matters going into Chicago for this ball game right, on Sunday night? And I think the number one thing that matters is Super Bowl standard effort. That is quite a stark difference. And Ben Herbert, man, he is a naturally tough and gifted leader. And it's easy to see how he changed the culture at Michigan and how he's going to do the same for the Chargers. It's definitely going to cost the Chargers a lot of money to bring him in because Ben Herbert signed a five-year contract worth $1 million every single year. And he was, I think the highest paid coach, uh, strength and conditioning coach rather, in college football and in the NFL. He's probably gonna be getting even more than that, so he is going to definitely be the highest paid strength and conditioning coach in the NFL. And man, Jim Harbaugh, he fought for that man to be on the Chargers. And John and Dean Spanos, the Spani bro, they broke the bank, not only for Jim Harbaugh, but to bring in the guys like Jesse Minter and Ben Herbert. And those guys are probably going to be among the highest paid assistant coaches and strength and conditioning coach in the NFL. Ben Herbert, definitely the highest paid strength and conditioning coach. Jesse Minter, he's maybe going to be the highest paid assistant coach. We'll see. But just the drastic shift in how Dean and John Spanos are handling the Chargers, it is so exciting feel like they're doing everything correctly right now and we will look back at this offseason as the best in franchise history because their willingness to spend big money in order to win and give up all of the power to the football minds like Jim Harbaugh. And whether or not we have the same amount of injuries this year, it's going to be really interesting to see if that actually impacts the amount of injuries. As a Chargers fan, one thing that I can say for certain is that the Chargers will be transformed this offseason and we should all expect some big changes on this roster and in draft philosophy. Speaking of drafting, the GM position looks to be getting clearer as Joe Hortiz was spotted on the Ravens sideline talking to Jim Harbaugh this past Sunday. Meanwhile, Brandon Brown was in Frisco for the East-West Shrine game interviewing prospects as a member of the New York Giants. So, if Brandon Brown were going to be the Chargers GM, why would he still be at a draft prospect event as a member of the Giants, right? I mean, I understand that it is still his job to do that. He's not technically the Chargers GM. Maybe they still haven't made a decision yet, and he's just going about things as if, you know, he is going to remain the Giants assistant general manager. But I think the Chargers and Jim Harbaugh already know who the general manager is going to be. And if it were Brandon Brown, he would probably be in the Chargers building already. But if it were Joe Hortiz, 
they would it would make sense for them to delay that announcement until the Ravens got eliminated and the Ravens they're now eliminated and expect at any point this week Joe Hortiz to be announced as general manager I mean I don't think that it is a coincidence at all that Jim Harbaugh was on that Ravens sideline and he just happened to be talking to out of all people Joe Hortiz who has gotten two interviews to be the Chargers general manager and was in LA at the same time that Jim Harbaugh was there. Now tomorrow, we're going to be talking a lot about this offensive coordinator position on Jim Harbaugh's staff because that is the only thing that doesn't look amazing right now. As a Chargers fan, everything looks amazing. We're living in the best reality possible, but for offensive coordinator, it's kind of a little bit of slim pickings here, but I'm still thrilled with how this offseason has gone and if you want to hear more about the defensive coordinator you can check out this video right here about why i'm so excited about jesse minter